Welcome back. Let's get started with installing Java on Windows. Installing Java should be a cakewalk. All that you need to do is to go to Google. I would recommend to use Firefox or Chrome and type in Java JDK download. If you type in Java JDK download, you should land up on this page, Java SC downloads. You can click the link over here and this would take you to the Java SC downloads. Current latest version as I'm recording right now is Java 16 or if you see Java 17 or Java 18, you can use them as well. Once you are over here, what I would do is go to download JDK download. So I'll click this link JDK download. Over here, you can read the license update and make sure that you are okay with it before you would continue and download the JDK for your specific operating system. Right now, we are looking at Windows and for Windows, we have the 64-bit option in here. This is the JDK 16 Windows x 64 binexe I'll click that and this would open up a small pop-up where I can check this checkbox and say download the JDK. So this would download the JDK down to your downloads folder. I'll go to Windows Explorer and I'll go to downloads and you have the downloads and you have the JDK file in here. What I would need to do now is to double click this. The launch of JDK would take a little while and after that you'd see a message like this. I would say I would want to allow this app to make changes. I'll say yes. This kicks off the installation wizard. I'll say next in here. You can choose the directory where you'd want to install JDK to. What I would do is to note down this path. So you can see that it's being installed to C colon slash program file slash Java slash JDK 16. So you can do a change. I would actually select this, do a right click or do a control A, control C to copy it. And I'll open up notepad. I'll open up notepad and I'll paste the folder path in here. So we are installing to C colon slash program file slash Java slash JDK 16. This is very, very important to remember. I'll minimize this and over here, I'll do a cancel and go back to the earlier folder. So we would be installing to C colon slash program file slash Java slash JDK 16 and I would say next. The installation would take a minute or two. You can see that there are a lot of steps that are being done and at the end of it, it says, you can see that the message says the installation of the Java SC development kit 16 is successful. Now we have successfully installed Java on our local machine. Now there is one more step before we would be able to use it from the command prompt. That is to set the path variable. How do we set the path variable? What I would do in here is to say search windows and I would type in environment variables. And when you type in environment variables, you should see something called edit the system environment variables. So make sure that you choose the edit the system environment variables in here. It would take a little while to come up, I guess. I minimized all the windows and then I was able to see this particular thing over here. You can actually minimize all the things and this is the only thing that you should see in here. And over here, you can say environment variables. What you're seeing in here right now are the environment variables. What I would want to do is I would want to set the path in the system variables. So go to system variables. So in, inside the system variables, go to path and you can say edit here. So make sure that you are choosing path P A T H, which is present in here. The name of the variable is path and want to edit it. So I would select that and say edit. And the, you should see a set of values like this come up. What we want to do is we would want to create a new value in here. And what should the value be? What you can do is to go to Windows Explorer. So you can go to Windows Explorer and over here, I can type in C colon slash in here. This would take me to the local disk C colon. And over here, I'm looking for program files. And inside program files, we have Java. Inside program files, depending on the version you have installed, there would be a folder in here. I have installed JDK 16, so I see a JDK 16 folder. So I'll go inside JDK 16 folder and inside that, you can see a number of folders. The important folder for us is bin. Now I can go in and copy this C colon slash program file slash Java slash JDK 16 slash bin. And what we want to do is take this and copy it out to the system properties. So let's select system properties. And over here, I want to create a new entry. And the new entry value should be this C colon slash program file slash Java JDK 16 bin. One thing I would recommend you to do is to do a move up. So move up, move up, move up, move up. 
move up, move up. So that it's the first one at the top. Once you have it at the top, you can say OK. And you can say OK in here. And you can close this and close the folders. And what I would recommend you to do is to close the command prompt. If you have a command prompt open, close it. And then again, search Windows for command prompt. So you can say command prompt. And you can go in here and say Java hyphen version. This should show the current Java version which is being used. You can see that Java version 16. So we are making use of Java version 16. You can also type in J shell, J S H E L L hyphen version. So J shell hyphen version. And you should see J shell 16 also present in here. So if you see both of these, congratulations. You are all set with your Java installation and you are ready to get started with the problem solving sections of this course. If you had any problems with installing Java, what I would recommend you to do is to check out the installation instructions. If you do a Java JDK download search on Google, this is the page we landed on earlier. And over here we have installation instructions. If you go into installation instructions over here, there are different set of installation instructions for different operating systems. And we followed the instructions for Windows. So we have installed it in Windows, so Microsoft Windows, that's the one which we have followed. Over here, if you do a little bit of scroll down, you can see JDK installation troubleshooting. So you can go to JDK installation troubleshooting and there are a set of instructions that they have in here. You might want to check them out. I'll see you in the next step.